Today, we're here to talk about Technodon's Micro S5 Brightness and Color Instrument. Now, an important thing to remember about this instrument is that it needs to warm up for about 30 minutes prior to any usage. So while our instrument warms up, I'm going to show you everything that you'll need in order to do your calibration. The first thing you'll need to have on hand is your calibration kit. Inside that calibration kit, you'll find five sets of calibration standards. There's a 50, a 60, a 70, an 80, and a 90. Now 70 is your primary calibration standard, and on it you'll find five sets of data for brightness, as well as the color data, Rx, Ry, and Rz. The next thing you'll find in your calibration kit are your two opal standards, which already have a sound value. And the last thing you'll find in your calibration kit are your traceability and your verification forms. The next thing you'll need that came with your instrument is your one kilogram weight. And you'll also need an opal working standard. The last thing that we just suggest you have on hand is a cleaning solution and a non-abrasive, non-optically brightened cleaning wipe. Once your instrument is fully warmed up and you've got all your things together, you're ready to go ahead and get started. Our first step is to press calibrate. Now the neat thing about this instrument is that it walks us step by step through the calibration process. So right now we're going to press number one for brightness and color. The first thing it's going to ask us is to key in brightness. We'll take the printout from the 70 standards because that's our primary standards. And since we'll be calibrating to the first position, we'll take the value of the first brightness, which is 74.19, and we'll press print. It's going to ask us the same thing for Rx, Ry, and Rz. Our X is 89.85. Our Y is 87.10. And RZ is 73.63. Next, it's going to ask us to load our primary standard. We can go ahead and move this sheet back, and we'll load it so that the dash marks on either side of the one are lined up with the white lines. We'll load our one kilogram weight, and we'll press scan. Next, we're going to load our opal standard. and press print. It's going to ask us if the value that it gives us is within plus or minus 0.2 of the value on the standard. If it's not, you'll need to refer to your operator's manual for further instructions. Ours is within plus or minus 0.2, so I'm going to press 1 for yes. Finally, we're going to load our working standard. And we'll press scan. You can write the values given along with today's date under brightness and values on your standard. And your calibration is complete. In order to verify measurement linearity, you can take the last four sets of verification standards and you can measure each of the five positions across the standard. If you take the average of those five positions, they should be within plus or minus 0.3 of the average given to you on the printout. If they're not, or if you have any other questions, you can refer to your Technodyne Operator's Manual, you can call Technodyne, or you can check out the website.